Hello everyone, I want to welcome you all back to the channel. Picking right up where we left off from in the opening intro for this game. Also, for your entertainment purposes, please turn your players to his max settings, which is 4K60. Sit back and enjoy the action. Should be a heck of a show here. Got a lot of incoming ballistic fire. Let me get evasive. It's my very first time playing this game. It is definitely safe to say within the opening intro, this game kicks bot, all pun intended. If it's if there's a game with a mech and I can be a, and I can pilot it and things go boom. Count me in. Sign me up. No questions asked. Yeah, it looks like these enemies stand no chance. So far, yeah, a lot of action. Very fast pace. I'm definitely digging that. I like that a lot. As well as the visuals. Like I said, the, the gameplay and the controls here are really simplistic and easy to dive into for beginners. If you're a beginner and you've never played this game or this franchise, I highly recommend that you check it out. Absolutely. It is worth a purchase. If you if you can spare the 60 plus dollars, it's absolutely worth it. Just eviscerated that mech. I see you down there. I see you. You're not slick. You, you can't hide under the bridge. Oh, I jump down so you go up. Okay. I'll go up. Oh, I go up and then you go down. You can't escape. There's no escaping. You can't escape me. Don't shoot it. Don't shoot that at me. Don't don't do that. It's your buddy. It's your bot buddy. Can go with you. Definitely can see myself playing a lot of this. I have a lot of unfinished games, which I tend to finish them right here on the channel. We are still a primarily Starfield channel. But you know me, wouldn't be beyond next gen gaming if we didn't mix it up and bring you everything must see that is Series X. Yes, I do. Screw his shield. Screw his shield, for lack of a better word. I could think of another word I could have used, but going to be PG. I'm going to keep things PG here. This one's already expired. Keep looking. Will do. Let's head to the next location. I said I'm really loving the visuals and the fast paceness that this is compared to a Mech Warrior 5, which Mech Warrior 5 is also an awesome mech game. Absolutely. To get off subject, but it's still on subject because it's a mech game. Before this game even launched, a lot of people were saying that had inside scoops and probably early access to the game. A lot of people were saying that it's it's armored core but it's souls like and i agree with these people without actually playing the game just by doing my research and you know looking up what some other users that probably like i said had early access to the game so forth and so forth i agree that the game was like a souls like game and after after playing this game for a solid 
40 minutes to an hour or so myself hands on with it I can definitely agree and say that it's definitely souls like but it's a lot more fun I'm not a souls like person I really don't like souls souls games like I'm gonna try to get more into the souls like genre but I've had my bad experiences from Dark Souls it itself never forget my, my first time ever playing it loaded it up made my character loaded it up fought one or two minions and was insta killed and I just hit uninstall and never returned and never since then I just souls me and souls like games I'm, I'm real sketchy on them very sketchy right shoulder ammunition at 30 percent but like I said any game that gives me jetpacks and boosters and a mech and I get to pilot it like as if I was Tony Stark you can count me in and a and a and a blade and homing missile yeah count me in as I get very tactically evasive here I'm still taking damage will do so if you're wondering well you seem to be wrecking the regular enemies and NPCs that's attacking you re relatively easy as you see I am the, the the regular NPCs are definitely I don't want to say they're pushovers because it, it gets intense but I know you're wondering like well how do you make that deduction how do you deduce that you know armored core is a souls like it's, it's souls like with mechs like I said, after playing an hour or so, almost 40 minutes to an hour, and getting to the boss, which I'm trying to make my way there now, that's that's how I came up with the conclusion that yes, the game is absolutely Souls-like. This game broke me out in a full sweat while make while like while creating this vid for you for your entertainment purposes. This game seriously broke me out in a full body sweat. I was angry and happy at like the same time. Like depleted. I've never been like 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 okay, like being killed in a game is frustrating. Like I consider myself a top gamer. Absolutely. Especially if the game has a gun in it. I consider myself a top player for any game that has some sort of gun. And like I said, playing I was really frustrated. Not really frustrated, but I was frustrated enough from me dying. It's still valid, but, the but I also was no enjoying good. it. It, it was this. it was fun. Like it's it but was I fun, and I and it literally brought me to a few laughs and chuckles. Like marker. had a few chuckles from my few deaths that I encountered. So just to let you know, in the making of this video, yes, it took me several tries to, to complete this video here for your entertainment I, I definitely was KIA a couple times at least four or five six times easily not easily I went down with a fight but I still went down that's the whole point until I figured out exactly what to do and got my strategy everything takes a strategy Every game, I don't care what game you're playing, even if you're playing Fortnite, something like Fortnite, it takes strategy, it takes skill, absolutely. Every game definitely also needs some sort of skill. There's always going to be a, some sort of skill level, and where there's skill, there's strategy. As I just wiped out that mech, just wiped him off the face of Armored Core. Looks like we won't be jump or jet thrusting up there like that. You can get up here though. What is this? What is this device? What is this? I think this is the device that dude was telling me about. Catapult. That's exactly what this is. I'm not I'm I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. Honestly. That's what that's but I, I got it. Hold A. Simple as that. Hold A. Now hit my dash. That's it. Hit my Try air dash. 
All right, looks like we've we've arrived at the final location. Let's see if this wreckage has that pilot license that this dude keeps talking about. Let's see if we can earn our wins without actually earning our wins. Rank fits the bill. Call sign. What? Looks like they were on to you after all. Q. Mech boss battle. Let's go. So I was complaining about this boss's millions of missiles and ballistics fire that is just relentless. And the dude is trying to hint to me, well, yeah, you, you get evasive, use your air maneuvers, use your use your air defense, use your use your air dodge to to evade his his missiles from from getting like splash damage on the ground. So get evasive, move like dash through the air. And it doesn't work, like it doesn't, like it really doesn't. Two repair kits How you seeing me fight this this guy? Which is yes, I'm using the building for as much cover as possible, which is called strategy. The same strategy that I was telling you about before I even fought this boss. Which I, I figured it out in fighting him and getting him damn near to a pinch of health on two different occasions. You want to use the building for as much cover as possible. And take your shots. Take your shots when you have your opening. And use the building as much as you can to avoid these missiles. Because his missiles and ballistics is really not stopped. As we get up close here for some quick melee action. Slap the crap out of him. Don't be afraid to melee him neither. Do not. Look, I'm down to my last health kit already. That's how serious it is. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting messed up. He's he's lighting me up and I'm still using this cover. Got him down below 50% though. He's got me down to about 70% health. We're in good shape. Now we're down to about 60%. Like I said, this man's home and missiles is really relentless. Really, really relentless. That just keep using the building for as much cover. Look at that. I'm trying to trying to shoot more ballistics and missiles. Ah, I got a direct hit there. Now we're down to about 50%. That's not good. There goes the relentless missile barrage. Also, you, you also might want to aim for his actual missile carrier as well. Seems to do great a bit of damage. I also try to get up underneath him when he launches his missiles sometimes as well. Try to make him bomb himself. Strategy. Got a base up there, use the last kit. This is it. This is it. No MJ. This is it. This is the last dance. This is going to be me and him. What's it going to be? Me and him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, crazy damage. Direct hits. Again, down to 50 per. He's about on 30 something per. And he just dropped me to 30 perk. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is critical. This is very critical. Ah, oh, man, this is not looking good. Can I pull it off? Use the building. What you doing? What you doing? Still shooting ballistics and missiles at me? My turn. My turn. It's my turn. Got him down to about 15%. That's still a lot. And I'm down to 20. 29. 29% AP. HP. Your AP is your health points. Yes, it is. Got some direct hits there. Got me down to about 23. Taking significant damage. Gotta get a base. Got him down to about 10%. It's me and you, buddy. Me and you, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Is that the best you got? The best you got? Is that the best you can do? Nice try. Nice try. You missed. You missed. Try again. Dead. Murdered. Boom. Bring the hammer. Enjoy the light show.
Well, I want to thank you all for tuning in. If you've made it this far into the video, you're truly the best. You're awesome. I want to thank all my new subscribers. I want to thank all my returning subscribers as well. Highly appreciate y'all. Y'all the reason why I do this. If you want to see more variety, must see Series X Gaming, tips, tutorials, playthroughs, first playthroughs, news, and more, and you want to show your support for my channel, you can do so simply by leaving a comment. Smash that like button for me. Share the vid. And hit that subscribe bell notification. And I'll see you on my next one. Peace and be well. Noob out.